Hello, welcome to this strange but quick little video. I have a dark secret, and that is at weekends I play croquet. I know, it's hard for me to say that, but at the club I belong to, someone has crocheted a croquet player, and they've asked me if I could give him a seat to sit in and a mallet. So here I'm making the seat, plus I thought, rather than just give him one mallet, let's give him the complete set. So I hope this isn't too much of a departure from the sort of things I usually make, but it's all the same sort of techniques used, so I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I needed to do was 3D print all the various bits and pieces that comprise a full croquet set. And because I've only got the smallest sized bed my 3D printer you can possibly have, I couldn't get much on the bed at one time, so it took quite a few days to get it all done. But once it was, it was a simple matter of a small amount of cleanup and then some spray primer. Most of the pieces end up white, so I just prime those in a white spray, with the exception of the mallet heads, which are gonna be aluminium and I'll use some rub and buff for that. And I've been told best color primer for metallics is black, so they got a black primer. As I said, most of it is white, but there is a little bit of color. Hoop number one and five gets a blue and red top. It just gives you a very quick orientation of how the lawn is set up. And of course the balls all have their individual colors, so you know which order you're hitting them in. All this equipment needs a little cart for it to all sit in. So I designed all the pieces in a 2D program and sent it off to the laser cutter. This all could be done by hand, but would take considerably longer and probably I wouldn't have been able to do it so accurately. And little jobs like this would have been a much more daunting prospect. Now it's a simple matter of gluing the whole thing together with PVA glue. Now I've been playing with the kerf and that's a setting on the laser that allows for the width of the cut. If you don't allow for a kerf, all the joints are very sloppy. So I've been slowly increasing this kerf to get a tighter fit. Now here I'm getting close. It's possibly still a little bit too sloppy, but if you make it really tight, assembly becomes difficult and you might split the wood in trying to do it. But I do think it could be just a fraction tighter. Initially I had two wheels each side cut to give it double the thickness but I decided that wasn't quite enough so I cut another couple to make it three in total. The wheels are going to be glued in place as there's no need for them to rotate. Nobody's going to be pushing it anywhere. While that all dries I move on to the, the bench and this is a far simpler affair as it's purely made by laser cutting 3mm plywood. Same as the cart, a simple design in the 2D program of your choice. Cut out the pieces, glue them together, give it a bit of a paint job, job done. Now in the design of the sides, I've tripled up the plywood as I've only got 3mm thick board, but this did allow me to incorporate a two mallets and a ball kind of logo in the arms. And then the slats are cut out to locate in little slots, which makes assembly really simple. While the bench glue sets up, I can finish up the mallets and that's just a simple matter of cutting some sticks to the right length, painting them a suitable wood colour and glue in place and a quick rub and buff and that's all there is to it. While I had the brown paint I decided to use it on the cart. The brown would be useful on the bench as well so I get some black to paint the ends first where while it's convenient to hold slats also one last place to put the black is the wheels of the cart then it really is just the rubber buff on the mallets. The only thing left to do is final assembly, bits and pieces. I could have left them loose, but I think that risks things getting lost as it gets moved around from here to there. So I decided to glue everything in place. It's not ideal gluing straight on top of the painted surfaces, but nothing's under any kind of strain, so I think it'll do okay. Well, I hope you found something useful here from this slight departure from usual things I do. But rest assured, the next project will be very creepy. Of course, you might think croquet is a bit creepy. But I do hope you join me on the next video. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.